day one in Taipei. Day one. We're gonna do family things, and then we're gonna do touristy things in the afternoon. And Angela's back. <laughs> At the end of 2023, I spent a couple of weeks in Taipei with my family and some friends. I flew here from Korea with my boyfriend. This was his first time in Taiwan, and even though he was only able to stay for a couple of days, we got a lot done in a short amount of time. The first thing we did was grab lunch with my grandma. She's getting older, so every meal we have together now is another memory made. This was also Josh's first authentic Taiwanese meal. I think he enjoyed it unless he was just pretending in front of my family, but I guess that's okay too. Pork chops. These are oyster rolls. New favorite. Which one? The oyster roll. Yeah? Good. Mm -hmm. Good. 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 Josh an easy card. Thanks. Oh wait, yours is cute. Looks like that. I want one. Well, it's so so. It's kind of cute. Last time, I, only, only I got the, the only thing that I knew how to read, read, which is like a it was good though. brown was like, sugar latte. Yeah. Yeah. We're taking Josh to the best coffee I've ever had. It looks good. Look, they have three kinds of sweet potatoes. Toast That's bread. Cool. They're sweet potato buddies. Alright, tell us what you think. After we were caffeinated, I wanted to show Josh one of my favorite spots in Taipei. This is the Huasan 1914 Creative Park. It used to be a winery when the island was under Japanese rule, but it's since been converted into a hybrid venue slash marketplace space for the arts. They always have some sort of cool artist exhibition or pop-up, and it's just a really interesting area to walk around. Uber Eats was doing some sort of event while we were there, so we played some games and got some free merch. Oh my god, we're such a loser! We're at the Cultural Creative Park, and there's some sort of Uber Eats collab going on. So, we're waiting in line for an event. Get a bag, get a bag! Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, little Uber Eats bags. They have boba on them. Do you know that? You can kind of see it through, but.
cut the line. I don't know if they're lined up. <laughs> Joshua just, just cut. cut <laughs> Josh cut this massive line. <laughs> She didn't say anything. I saw the lady, this lady in line was like... We're here for the culture, guys. Here we are. What a nice view. After checking out the memorial, we walked over to Rongjing Gorgeous Time, which is a weird name, I know, but it is what it is. This is actually an old prison that was built during Japanese rule. It's weird to think about now because it's such a peaceful and pretty place. This whole area was redeveloped pretty recently over the past couple of years, so all the restaurants, cafes, and shops are new but somehow it really did feel like we were back in Japan walking through the old streets. Hello. It feels like we've had a very long day already. Now we have our dinner. Joshua booked us a nice Taiwanese French fusion mm -hmm. restaurant for our four year anniversary. So we're on the way. I'm very excited to eat. I've been looking forward to this restaurant for so long. Yes, he picked it out all by himself and made the reservation all by himself. And it was supposed to be a surprise, but I saw his credit card charge. Not that I was looking through his bills, you know. Why do you make it sound like I'm I not never crazy. make reservations? Oh, well, usually I'm the one picking. This is so cute. Basket of bread each. That was like pumpkin, black sesame, cheese. Yeah. Cheese made out of guava, it's super good. And there's Josh, working away at his bread. Mm. The bread is delicious. The abalone and vegetables and truffle paste. Liver on top of taro cake with smoked duck and orange mayonnaise. I'm not super big on fine dining. Sometimes it can feel overindulgent and cause this feeling of guilt. Like I'll calculate the number of burritos I could have eaten instead and ask myself if it was really worth it. But I have to say, even though I didn't pay for this one, the answer is yes. I know Josh would agree with me. He ranked it as the top meal we had on our entire trip. Korea and Japan included. Honestly, this whole design is beautiful. Yeah. And so is this seaweed butter. Go like this. If there's one dish I can say, I can copy and say you would like, it would be this. It's duck, taro. Yeah. Duck and taro is already a winner. Here, it's really hot. Mm. Wow. Very lobstery. Mm. There's noodles inside. Wow, that's really, really good. All right, I thought I liked the last dish the most. This is amazing. This is so good. This thing here is made out of squid ink and sago. Kind of crazy. 
fish is so delicate. It was the combination of enjoying our food in this beautifully restored 80-year-old Japanese house, the flavors in all eight courses, the blend of local Taiwanese ingredients with French cooking techniques, the hospitality of the waitstaff who tried their best to explain very complicated cooking methods to Josh in English. It was just such a memorable experience and the best way to celebrate four blissful years together. Flavors this. She said orange, but I feel like it's every citrus. It's like honey. Yeah, it's so good. Mine is a duck leg. Crispy duck leg. Yours is a short rib with wine. This is crispy. Yeah. Should I start now with 12 o'clock? You know this is coming? It's so pretty. I didn't know they would do that for us. Oh, you knew about this? Well, I didn't know about that either. Oh. And this is orange flavor something. That is a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why do you need souffle pancakes if you can get souffle? Mm. Mm. This meal was amazing. I think, hands down, the best meal I've had in my life. Looks quite nice. It does look very pretty. We're really full. This is a lot of food. Uh -huh, this is so much food. Never expected to be full from fine dining. Super popular. Post dinner. Oh. Now we're in Ximending. I need a walk. Yeah, this is Josh's first time here. Well, I guess it's his first time anywhere here. Yeah. <laughs> My twin flame, yeah. My girl, your feather. They have black pink Oreos in the claw Look. machine. Oh, we saw that earlier today. Like the snacks, snacks. Corn. Oh my God, this, is how, this is how it happens. This is just the beginning. Whatever. Yeah, 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 you got it. Oh. Okay, it's Josh's turn. Oh my God. That was so sad. Try number two. Wait, it literally, <laughs> it didn't even, wait, it didn't even fall out. It literally just. <laughs> oh what? I had it. Wait, come on. We all thought I had it too. <laughs> Day two. In Taifung for the first time. You've never been? Even yeah, in never SoCal? never been in Taifung. Wow. That's very surprising because you grew up. Right next to one? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, well, it's better here anyways. Oh my god. This place opened 20 minutes ago. And the wait is already 100 minutes. You want one? <laughs> the waiter dude that at the front <laughs> desk guy speaks Japanese, Korean, and Chinese, and English. That's kind of crazy. Okay. No? They're really good. They're just really good. Good, right? <laughs> is it viral worthy? <laughs> Ding Tai Fung is such a Taiwanese classic. I come here at least once every time I visit Taiwan and we always get the same things. Although to be fair, this is like half the menu. They're known obviously for their soup dumplings, which have a signature 18 folds that they consider to be the golden ratio. 
I also love their fried rice, spicy wontons, and you can't leave without trying their chocolate and mochi xiao long bao. They're so plump. Really I think we should get ten. This is Josh's first mango bean. Okay, I like A4. A4? Okay, let's get it. Like we remember, so good, right? And the jelly. Hey, this is my spoon. Jill, you have more fans than even Ashley. Uh -huh. Then I should get a cut of the revenue. Oh! Wait, you have been getting a cut of the revenue. Yeah, right? I know, right? Ashley's been giving me 30% for every video. 30% is like $2. That's so not true. Oh. Oh. I don't know what it is. Mm. Oh, it's mm. very filled. You like it? That's really good. Oh, okay. Oh, you're basically Taiwanese. That's really good. Mm. 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 Those grapes look so good. Oh, we had them yesterday at Akong's. Oh, the shine yeah. muscats. Yeah, they were cute. Have my favorites. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just let her pick. Mm -hmm. They have the croissant rolls. It's like one fifth of the price of Lafayette in New York. I like the egg yolk. Josh is trying all the goodies. Oh. <laughs> look at the inside. Oh, give, give a... Ooh, that's a big egg yolk. Mm. Wow, it's really soft. Really? These things are kind of hard. Yeah, it's really good. Cool. This one's different. Mm. Can I get the inside? We left the market to head to Xinyi, which is a shopping district where most of the luxury department stores and entertainment venues are located, including Taipei 101. I love the department stores in Taiwan. They're not like American malls, they're more massive entertainment complexes. You can often find pop-up events, exhibitions, street performers, and food halls in addition to your typical chain stores. We got a little... Um... So we got some fries and boba. Nice. I got less sugar by the way. I think this is the exact one I would order last time. We came like probably 10 years ago and it was a bucket. Remember? Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was like this big. It's not the best Chinese yo-yo dude in the world. His life has been changed. This is the best pineapple cake place in my opinion. Her mom's been getting it for me every time she went to Taiwan. It's so good. He always eats like three at a time. Sold out of everything. So many pineapple cakes.
introducing Josh to my favorite bread of all time. It's tomorrow breakfast. For breakfast tomorrow while we get on the bus to Joe Flint. I don't think any of us were hungry, but Josh had limited time in Taiwan and I really wanted to take him to Raohe Night Market, which happened to be nearby. Oh, let's, let's get your reaction. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, I got the chili oil down the throat. Uh oh. Oh, that's very good. Hot! Mm. 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 Oh my god. This is so spicy. Somehow, Josh managed to find hot dog in Taiwan. He was literally talking about buying it today. It's a mag I'm a magnet. And yesterday. And yesterday. He's been talking about it almost every day, for that matter. The hot dog finds me. I think that's better than the Myeongdong one. But not the best one we had. Together, it's cheaper than me fresh. One of them. Really? One. Yeah. How much is all three? Four dollars. <laughs> so good. Mm -hmm. You're right. I, I, I did want my own. <laughs> <laughs> 